Well guys, it's Kieran, our killer because of HD here, and welcome back to Track Impact. I'm going to call this the penultimate episode, because the next episode is going to be the final game of the season. But today we're facing Newcastle at home, after the transfer window, I've brought in a couple of signings to try and shore up our team, and hopefully go for this title now, but it's going to be difficult, because Derby and Manchester United are absolutely killing it. Henri! <laughs> So straight away, you want to hear about the transfers. So the first couple of players then, we've brought in three players. We've brought in Maya Drag, Beladiki, Beladiki, I think it is. He bought him from Star Bucharesti in a Liga 1. Um, he's a very good sweeper, and that's what we kind of need for our formation. We're playing, a f I think it's a f um, f 5 Three two or something or five three one two I don't remember. It's gonna be it's, it's a fun formation. We're actually starting to win a couple of games with it as well. We brought in Andrea Pirlo as a DM slash centre midfielder. Um, he's obviously like 18 years old. We bought him from a Brescia Calcio for I think it was 18 million pounds, and he looks really decent. His passing's fantastic. His really his first touch of free kick kicking as well is great. He's a really solid signing for 18 million as well. I'm very happy to bring Pirlo in. And the final signing is Romario. Now this is a big Brazilian striker. I'm very happy to bring in. What a signing this is. 19 finishing, 19 first touch, 80 technique, 19 aggression, 20 flair. This guy has little Romario, obviously a key, key striker for Brazil back in the day. Very, very happy to bring him in. He got 16 goals in 23 games for um, PSV in the area of Divisi. Got a 7.79 average rate with 8 assists as well. So this guy could be the real dude. He's going to be our starting striker now, Thierry Amory. Uh, Thierry Amory probably going on the left-hand side. So I'm glad to bring Romero in. In the previous episode, we lost 2-0 to Bayern Munich. We've played a lot of games since then. We won 3-1 at home against Nottingham Forest. Frank McClintock, Peter Shields with goal. Thierry Omri with our goal there. We lost 1-0 away from home in the quarter final of the Capital One Cup to Derby. Kevin Hector with the goal there. We've got Derby next as well in like the FA Cup, and it's really difficult to beat them. They're a really good team. We won 2-1 away from home against Swansea. Goals from Omri and Bastin and Andre Ayew for Swansea then. And we won 1-0 at home at Stoke City. Uh, Thierry with the goals there. And then we beat Everton 2-0 away from home. Thierry with a brace, and then we lost to Leeds 1-0. Actually, a bit disappointed about this result here. Then we drew 0-0 Everton. Boring game. 1-1-0 at home against, Everton, um, against West Ham. Sorry, Mark Noble got sent off. Marky Nocaps and Ted Drake got Argo in that game. And then we won 1-0 away from home in the FA Cup. Third round against Hartlepool. Tony Adams with a late goal to secure the win there. And the final three games we drew 1-1 at home against um, Aston Villa. Thierry Henry saving our backsides really in the 90th minute of a great goal. And we won 1-0 away from home in the league against Manchester City. Leon Brady with a penalty and then we won 2-0 at home. In the FA Cup fourth round against Preston, Thierry Henry and Frank Matintock with the goals. In the league it's looking like we're going to finish fourth or third at the moment because we, nobody's catching the derby on Manchester United. Steve Bremer has 24 goals in 23 games at the moment so he's smashing it. Ryan Giggs having a world of the season for Manchester United as well. Tottenham, Everton and Southampton at the bottom of the league at the moment and you see teams like Leeds United doing quite well as well. So managerial departures have been going around. Roberto Martinez ironically is now the Everton manager after the uh, um, former manager got sacked. So the team is looking quite good. The last five games the best player has to be Ted Drake actually because um, Maya Drag and Bello Didici has only played like one, one maybe one game in like a, I think it was under 21 games. Ted Drake's having the best kind of spell at the moment. Most appearances for the club at the moment. Thierry Henry 33 appearances and one off the bench. Most goals is actually Henry as well. Most assists is Henry. Highest average rating is Henry. Henry is the man, basically. He's the flipping god. If we look at Newcastle United's team, we're going to see a lot of familiar names here. Teams like players like Shea Given are here. We've got Billy McCracken, got Steven Taylor, young Steven Taylor, Joe Harvey, Rob Lee, Gary Speed. Got Paul Gascoigne, Andy Carroll at a young age, Alan Shearer here as well. Alan Shearer, I'm bound to have a good game. I'm actually pretty sure he's going to have a fantastic game. He's only had four goals this season so far, though. So that's quite shocking. I'm looking forward to seeing how this game goes. So here is the Arsenal bench and starting 11. We have Kelson on the bench with Bello, Dadishi, Sanson, Brady, Freddie Lumber, Cliff Baston, and Dennis Bergkamp. On the starting 11, it's the 5 2 3 sweeper wide. David Seaman in goal with David O'Leary just in front of him. Then the defence of Eddie Hapgood, Tony Adams, Frank McClintock, and Pat Rice. In the midfield, we have Patrick Vieira and Andrea Perlo, number 29. Appearance. In start at the front three then, what appears on the right hand side, Thierry Marie is the inside forward on the left and Romario starts off right and to complete forward. And the Newcastle bench are starting to go in there, Shea given the bench is Craig, Milburn, McDonald, Lennon, Taylor and Solano. And then the starting 11, it's a 4-2-3-1 wide of a very deep um, striker there. You've got um, Lawrence in goal with McCracken, Brennan, McCourt and McMichael. In the midfield you've got Harvey and Gary Speed and up front in the four you've got Mitchell, Paul Gascoigne, Peter Beardsley 
and Alan Shearer. So let's get right into this game. Hopefully we can pick up a win here today because it would be great. Just for us to be up. I mean, we obviously we're getting the wins at the moment, but we need to uh, pick up where we left off really and just continue going. Romario, I'm really excited to see how he does in the league. Obviously the 5-2-3 isn't a very attacking formation, but at the moment we can see we were conceding a lot of goals when we started using the formation, so we had to be careful. But the thing with this formation is um, the starting few minutes, the f actually the first half really just doesn't go our way usually, and it happens quite a lot. So maybe it's a choice of uh, maybe messing around with the instructions. I don't know. We'll have to find out how it goes at the end of the season after this episode of Gascon points the ball to Shira. Vieira intercepts now speed and the speed gets back to the ball. Pires to Tierra and he finds the ball to Andrea Polo. Polo's got the boots. He puts it to Romario. It's a fantastic pass. He's got options if he wants to take a shot though. Romario takes a shot. Lawrence shoots. Thierry Henry shoots. Thierry Henry on the third time of asking. Thierry Henry scores to make it Arsenal 1, Newcastle United 0. The third time of asking. It's the third rebound. Lawrence should probably do better but it's a great double save. It's Arsenal 1, Newcastle United 0. So Mario, part, look, he, he's just a fantastic player. He puts the ball there. Lawrence saves it, and then Lawrence saves again. I don't know. That looks like he hits the yeah, air, and then it comes off Lawrence there actually, and goes to the bottom corner. Thierry scores number 14. Makes it Arsenal one, Newcastle United nil. Get in, Perez. To Andrea Perlo, can find a ball to Romario if he likes. Puts it back to Vieira, it's quite a safe option there. And you've got a ball to Thierry Henry on the left hand side if needs be, but he puts it to Romario. Romario, he's got Omri, he's got Omri, but Romario Omri gets marked up. And then you've got Perez. Perez puts the ball back to Romario. Romario, what will he do? What will he do? You look at the skills, look at the skill. Romario puts it just wide of the post. What skill, what talent from Romario. Should be 2 0 Arsenal. And that's half time, it's 1 0. Good performance so far. And I really hope we can keep it up. I'm actually going to go ahead and tell Thierry Henry once again that he has been fantastic so far. And he continues to do this. He's so good. He's so good. The guy who made this database made Henry like a pretty picture-perfect player, basically. He's fantastic. It's really nice to have a player like that. And as we play out the back here, and hopefully we can get a second or third goal and see out this victory now as Milburn puts the ball to Alan Shearer and Clintock intercepts. Now puts the ball to Henry. Got in the middle there to Perlo, but he puts it to Perez instead. Puts it back to Perlo. And then you've got Henry in the middle. Puts it to Henry. Romario is free. Romario is through, actually. Romario is through. And Romario scores. What a goal by Romario. Arsenal 2 new Costi 9 0. It's his first ever goal for the club, and that's what he needs. That is a fantastic finish for Romario. It's Arsenal 2, Newcastle United 0, and what a goal it is. It's on Ray Post the ball through the middle. Questions of a side, maybe, but not really, actually. That's a bullshit claim, actually. Why did I say that? Romario scores. It's Arsenal 2, Newcastle United 0. 64 minutes on the clock. We're going to make our first change of the game. We're going to take off Pirlo and bring on Liam Brady, and the next change will probably be Robert Perez off. Thierry Omri is on a 9. Uh, with, you know, 35, 45, 25 minutes to go, actually. I'm an idiot. I don't know maths. When Mario has just got injured, we do not need that. We're going to have to take off from Mario. What we'll do, we'll put Omri up front. Uh, we'll put him as a poacher, maybe, or a... I don't know, actually. No, no, no. We'll keep Omri on the left. What we'll do, we'll keep Omri on the left. We'll bring on a Cliff Baston. and see how Baston does as a... We'll play him as a false nine. You know what? We'll play him as a false nine. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll, do that. we'll play him as a false nine. It's quite annoying to see Romario get injured. Is there any suspicions of what it could be? Potential foot injury. Hopefully it's not like a broken foot or anything. And it's just like a little n little knock that you can run off in the next game because we need him for the Europa League club. We got a Europa League tie actually. I forgot to mention that we got Europa League tie against uh, Dynamo Kiev, I believe it is. And I'm gonna make a final change to the game actually. We're gonna take off on um, Pires. I'm gonna bring on Lundberg. That's a final change to the game. Yeah, we got Dynamo Kiev in the next round, the first knockout round at the chat and the Europa League. And I think we have other Chelsea and someone else in the third round and the second knockout round. There's Newcastle have a chance here. McMichael can you whip in the ball? Puts it on the outside of the area to Gary Speed here. Puts it back out to McMichael. Can whip in the ball here. Puts it out to speed again. They're playing the edge of the area play. And here comes Harvey. Shoots and cannot get through. That's Thierry Henry. Has the option to break. Loses the ball out and Brody loses the ball there. Milburn. What will he do? He can whip in an early cross if he wants to here because we're not really tracking it down enough. Thierry Henry with a challenge and Eddie Hap could clear. Craig puts the ball back to Henry and Henry loses the ball. Bastin loses the ball now. Harvey. To Peter Beardsley. That's an option in the middle there if you'd like to be. No, he doesn't. Oh, Peter Beardsley. Peter Beardsley shoots wide. Easy. Corner. Brady whips it in. Tony Adams. Oh, it's unlucky. Lumber. Thierry Henry! What a goal by Thierry Henry. It's his 50th goal of the season. Well, for Brady. He's got to see that. Now. Brady gets in the corner here. Adams tries to get it. It cannot. Lumber heads it. Thierry Henry on the first touch. Puts it past the goalkeeper. Arsenal 3, Newcastle United 0. And that's full time, it's Arsenal 3, Newcastle United 0. 
fantastic performance to have. I'm going to passionately say a very nice victory. Well done. Hopefully Romario is not injured too badly. I think we played fantastically. This 11 shots on target from 17 shots is fantastic. They only had two from 16 shots. So, you know, that's great. Liverpool also won today, which is annoying. They won 4-0 they won away from home against Liverpool. So we cannot catch up on them just yet. But our goal difference needs to be going up a bit as well. That's really great to see that we won that. Manchester United won 4-1. And Derby lost their second game of the season to Leeds United in a very un... Well, Leeds are, Le well, Leeds are quite good of a team, actually, in this save. So that's actually a little shocking now because Steve Bloomer actually didn't score for once. Right, the physio reports in on Romario and he's out for five to six weeks with a torn ankle ligament. We're going to speak to him and say try to focus on your recovery. Don't worry, you'll be back in the first team soon enough. Henri, look at him. Two goals and an assist at 9.3 average rating. That's fantastic. He is absolutely bossed that game. Fair play to you, Henri. As I said, we're in fourth now. And the next game is going to be the final game of this actual epi um, of this little mini-series. Here we're going to face Legion United at home. It could be a game where or it could be, you never know. It could be a, face where, a case where we have to play the Europa League final or the FA Cup final, but we've got Derby, so we're probably going to lose that, so it, it depends, basically, but we're going to get a face of Leeds in the final game of this series, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tracking Back, if you did, leave a like, and if you did not, tell me why in the comments down below, and I will see you all very soon for another episode of Killer Kids Stag, no, it's Tracking Back, you pleb, I'll see you for the last episode of Tracking Back very soon, I can't believe I said Killer Kids Stag, do.